had a visit in the clinic from a lady just the other day with a bird that is behaving quite strangely. It's attacking people. It's also having its feathers fall out. Now, I need to see this bird in its natural environment, so we're going to go and pay a visit right now. Hello, Chrissy. Chris, how are you? Oh, how are you? Thank you for coming so quickly. Oh, look at you. This is Harry. You're a mess. He's a, he's a shocker, isn't he? Harry is the pampered so pet of the promise. equally colourful hey. Chrissy. Jeez, he's raw there, isn't he? He is, yeah. And he's back, look. That's he... extraordinary, isn't it? He, he's totally bare there. He is. Looks he's like, like a, a plucked chook. I was going to say plucked turkey, but yeah, chooks Yeah, I know. I can't work out why his feathers are coming out. It's one of the worst cases I've ever seen. And now the first thing I'm suspicious about is the diet. I need to know exactly what Chrissy's feeding him. These are his... Beans? They are pulses. I soak them overnight. This is his red palm oil, mm -hmm. his seed, his millet sticks, his unsalted cashews. He washes it down with just a little glass of bubbles occasionally with mummy. <laughs> mummy would insist upon that, wouldn't she? And whatever he doesn't finish, you probably have to finish, Absolutely. right? Absolutely. <laughs> yeah. I know I spoil him, but I can't help it. I love him. He's my baby. I could eat him. He's so gorgeous. <laughs> But going bald isn't Harry's only problem. He hates Chrissy's husband, John, and is not afraid to let him know it. Will you leave me alone? Go on, go. Tell you what, I hate that parrot. It's got to go. It's either him or me. What are you doing? Harry's hatred of John seems to start out as outright aggression, but then, oh, it turns into something quite dysfunctional. Now he's having his way with my hand. Oh, he is too. You're not jealous, are you, Chris? No, you? I'm just, I've never seen him do it before. What's Chris going to think of us? <laughs> it may look like love is in the air, but Harry's amorous gyrations are anything but. This is aggression on a new level. Yeah. Normally he's just flapping his wings, biting you. Yeah. But that is the most aggressive and most dominant-minded gesture he can give you. You never see that. That is amazing. You know, it's actually similar to what a dog does when he's trying to show dominance, but I've never, ever seen a bird do that before. It's just bizarre. Now, I'm pretty sure that Harry's violent jealousy towards John is the cause of all this mass feather fallout, but I need to know for sure. I think we should set up a little sting. Okay, so we're almost ready to go. The camera's set up. Yep. One final request. Yes. Just a little hug, a little kiss, and then we leave. I'll explain later. In front of Harry. In front of Harry. Darling. Oh. oh. <laughs> this is going to send him into a frenzy. Bye, Harry. Bye, Harry. Bye. I feel so bad we're playing a trick on Harry, but we've got to find a solution. I mean, if, if we don't, he's going to be completely bald. Oh my god. Back at the Parrot Pleasure Dome, pet detective Chris is trying to find out why Harry is losing his feathers. Well, let's find out. We've got the camera. Now come on over here and let's have a look at what we've found. So we've just left the house. And he's at home alone. Ooh. And there he goes. Up. Right there. So while you're out or you're in bed and he's alone, this is what he's doing. Harry is the total attention seeker. This is self-mutilation for the sympathy vote. He's he, doing it to himself. He's pulling the feathers himself. He's pulling his own feathers out. Why? He's that frustrated that he's got nothing else to take his frustration out on apart from himself. You two are more than just friends in his eyes. He's in love with me. He's in love with you. But he doesn't want to have sex with me. No. Whenever he's not with you, right. you're with John, his competition. And he's smart enough to know that. Mm. He can tell a male from a female. Right. Using his sense of smell. Don't even try it. Don't even try it. The question is, how do I stop it? I can't be with him 24-7, can I? I? I can't take him to bed with me. I can't take him shopping with me. What do I do? We're going to put him on. Are you serious? We're going to put him on Prozac. Oh, my God. And this will work. Prozac 
is used all around the world for dogs, cats, and birds to ease their anxiety issues. It works by increasing the level of serotonin in the brain, which is the feel-good hormone. They feel better about the world, and I hope, in Harry's case, it's gonna stop him getting to that breaking point. So I've got to add Prozac now to all his food. Food is another thing. He's eating too much as well. Right. Just give him some seed, small amount. Give him some greens like spinach, broccoli. He's going to become the biggest loser, <laughs> <laughs> isn't he? Well, Harry, it's you and me. Oh, this is as close as I can get. Hi, I'm Dr. Danny Dusek from Bondi Vet. If you love our show and want to see more, plus some amazing content about pets and how to care for them, hit the subscribe button. Click that little notification bell and we'll see you on our next video.